from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to tutorial number eight for HTML uh, for beginning HTML5, which is going to be links practice. So we're just going to do a quick uh, directory, I guess you could say. Oops, a quick uh, little site directory. So this would be, you know, your uh, your index.html page, and then you would have um, your uh, so, so let's call this like directory. So this would be, you know, something that the first thing that they come to. Why would I do that? Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, it would be the first thing that they come to, and then you would have, you know, a h reference, which remember this is what you need for uh, to jump to a different part of that of that site. So let's say we're, we jump down to uh, structure. Let me make sure I'm doing this quickly. Because these, these, uh, those um, absolute, yeah, so uh, you go structure and then we'll say, um, I don't know, we'll call it pictures. Or we'll call it uh, about us.html. And then we'll close this and we'll be like uh, about us because it's going to be going to the about us page. So, but we need to close these parentheses here and we'll call it about us. And then we're going to close the A. And there we go. And then we're going to want a break so that, uh, but it's going to be a forward slash, forward slash. There we go. So that'll give us a break there. And then we're going to have um, contact us um, structure forward slash contact us dot HTML. Oops. Contact us, and then we'll close that A, do a break. Okay, so there we are. And then we're going to add some things in front of this, like uh, products, um, A, H reference equals um, structure forward slash um, products forward slash products HTML then we're gonna close that parentheses close this guy and we're gonna say products and we're gonna close that a then we're gonna close the BR forward slash directory okay so we got uh, products about us contact us um, I guess it'd be like, you know, legal. Slash, and then we'll say you know a h reference um, structure forward slash press dot html press so these. Okay, so so this is what what would be you know j just like a standard directory. Now I forgot to go over something that I didn't touch on to uh, last 
um, tutorial, and that is that you could actually go to. Uh, so let's do a double break here, so we get some space. Then we'll do a horizontal line break, HR break. Okay, so now down here, let's say we have another A, a reference. A H reference equals, and we're going to tell that we want it to go to a website. So let's say www.thelegitpc.com. And then we could actually tell it similar to what you saw this guy right here is if you do um, if you do a h reference and then you tell it a pound sign where's the pound sign there it is and we say uh, top oops. Now uh, let's go back to this guy. So so this similar, but we could also do that. Where to go? To that similar page, and of course then we could tell it the target is uh, what was it again? Blank. Target was underscore blank. Underscore. God dang it underscore blank and then we're gonna say uh, top of the legit PC dot com and then we're gonna close that a and we're gonna give it a horizontal line break so uh oh Let's just get rid of this guy. Let's see what happens. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Oh, I forgot the two forward slash. I forgot one forward slash here. I thought I was supposed to have two forward slashes on HTTP. Anyways, but that that's how you do it right there. So that would jump to the top of um, well, well, wherever the class is. Because remember, if you do something like this, the tag that you would have is you would have um, you would have an ID equals um, you know like top in this case. So that's what you would have. Now, if this was located on another page on a separate part of maybe on your site or somebody else's site, you would do this here. So you have the HTTP and then the www and then your e the, the website dot com and then you would have the the forward slash and then what the name of the class uh, the ID is here. And then that will jump to that place on that website. Yeah. So that's how it would work. And I missed that in the other in the other tutorial, so I was going to make sure I hit to that here. But uh, yeah, other than this, um, let's say this is uh, so. Other than all this stuff. So other than that stuff, this is what uh, it would be to be in a in a in a have a little directory page to or, or you know a home page I guess you could call it you could call it a home page and have all of your different stuff here and you know newest posts I guess if you're oops I guess if you're a blogger you'd have you know 
structure post new is new is post and there you go so I mean you could have whatever you want here and you could practice this as much as you want you know make the HTML and then if you want to have it actually jump between pages just uh, save these HTML files and put them all in a folder and then just jump around through them it, um, in this case it would take way too long in a tutorial to do that so I just kind of wanted to show you what it would be I mean this would work here this would totally work and then if I had them all loaded in a directory here in Dreamweaver you'd be able to jump back and forth through them but in this case we're just doing this uh, practically we'll do that when uh, we're nearing the end of these tutorials and we'll just start building some sample sites with directories and stuff like that so we'll worry about that when we get there but right now we're just teaching we're just learning some of these tags here and uh, the different types of elements things like that and different types of attributes okay so this has been Steven from uh, the legit tech from legit tech tutorials and I like to thank you for watching my uh, beginning to HTML5 tutorial number seven I believe and I will see you next video subscribe for for uh, videos in this series and videos in other series like it and uh, email me if you have any questions legittechtutorials at gmail.com and I will see you in next video thanks for watching